Hello, welcome to Stackable, the all-in-one solution to building stunning websites with the WordPress block editor. In this video, we'll be walking you through some use cases of our hover state styling, motion effects, and transform and transition features. These features are used to add animations to your website. Website animations are perfect if you want to make your website more interactive and engaging, and of course, add aesthetics. This could also be used to make the user experience better. Let's take a look at this website. This has the usual sections that are included on a homepage. However, we've added some animations to them. Like for example, the buttons elevate just a tiny bit to indicate that it's a link. And this section moves in from the side so the website visitor's attention shifts to the testimonial. We've added a whole lot of other effects to make this website very engaging and interactive. So let's get right into it. If you see here, we've taken the liberty of recreating the website without the transitions and motion effects. Now, let's add some hover state styling for this gallery of call to actions. Columns 1 and 3 are actually linked here, so that whenever a change is implemented in one column, it will automatically be reflected in the other block. Let's make it so that this column background changes colors when the cursor is hovering over it. Click the cursor icon on the right side of the background color setting at the container background panel and select the parent hovered icon. Let's choose the rosy color. Since the background color changes, let's change the heading here as well so that it's visible. Click the heading and navigate to the text color. Since the parent hovered hover state is still selected, let's choose the cream color in our palette. Let's do the same for the button color. Now let's move on to adding transform and transition effects to the buttons. With the button selected, navigate to the advanced tab of the inspector. Open the transform and transition panel. Let's input the transition duration to 0.3 seconds and leave the transition function as is. Now in the transform settings, let's make sure we're in the hover state and input negative 3 in the translate Y option. This will give a lifting effect to the button when the cursor is hovering over it. Now let's save this page as a draft and preview it. All the changes we made in this column should be reflected in the third column as well. Looking good! Now let's add some overlay hover styling to our image. On the normal state, let's add an overlay color using the cream color in our palette with an opacity of 0.4. Next, change the hover state to parent hovered. This will change the styling of the image when the parent container is hovered over. We'll input the opacity to 0 so that the true colors of the image will appear. Great! Since these columns are linked again, the changes are reflected in the rest of the columns. Next, let's add some transform and transition effects to add a bit more styling. Make sure to select the first column. Again, navigate to the transform and transition panel of the advanced tab and input the transition duration to 0.3 seconds. Again, let's leave the transition function as is. And now, in the transform settings, Let's make sure we end the hover state and input negative 8 in the translate Y option. This will give a lifting effect to the whole column when the cursor is hovering over it. Now let's add some motion effects for added animation. Let's select the scroll animation option in the effect drop down menu. Toggle the smooth and scroll animation on because this will give the motion effect an easier transition. In the entrance animation 
section blank. Let's do the same for the rest of the columns. Since we are done with this section, why don't we go ahead and save this as a draft and check it in the front end. What do you say? Doesn't that look great? Finally, let's add some motion effects to the testimonial section. We want this section to seem like it's entering from the left and right areas of the screen. To do that, let's navigate to the Motion Effects panel of the Advanced tab with a column including the text selected. Select the Scroll Animation option in the Effect drop-down menu, toggle the Smooth and Scroll Animation again, and in the Entrance Animation section, let's input the Opacity as 0 and Translate X as 300. Now, let's select the column including the image. We'll essentially do the same thing that we did with the other column. However, the difference is that the value for the Translate X option should be negative 300 instead of 300. Let's save this as a draft and preview it. Great! It's working as we expected. Now let's move on to the FAQ section. Let's select the column that contains the accordions. In the Motion Effects panel, select Scroll Animation and toggle on Smooth and Scroll Animation. In the Opacity option, input 0, and in the Translate Y option, input 50. Let's check how that looks. Working perfectly! And there you have it! These are just a few ways you can make use of Stackable's website animation features to make your site more interactive and engaging. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you need more information regarding Stackable, feel free to join our Facebook community or visit our website. We'll link them down below.